this event become, because it happened at a major city called Patna, it's known as the Patna Surrender. And everyone thought that Gandhi had caved in. And you're not supposed to cave in. You're supposed to, quote, stay the course, right? That's what you do. He uh, made a public uh, confession of his mistake, and his sister said, this is, you know, you're going to lose all your prestige. And he said to his secretary, probably Mahadev Desai, write to her and tell her that my confession itself was my victory. And he also said on this occasion that people see the fighter in me, but they miss my capacity to surrender from which my power springs. So you know, it's like that thing that we said before, that when he needs power, he gives up something. Sometimes I like to think that in a violent confrontation between two parties, party A pushes on party B to get them to move somewhere. Whereas in a nonviolent confrontation against a violent opponent, you create a, a pull, a vacuum, a kind of uh, gravitational pull. You, you make it attractive for them to move into a space. And in the end, Gandhi felt that if in a just cause, in a good fight, even enemies will end up as friends, whereas in a bad fight, even friends will end up as enemies. So what, this is what he's doing here. He's creating a way for the people who did not see his point to join him. That's what he was basically doing. I'm not, not, it looked like he was joining them, but actually he was creating a space where they could be together. 